Shahid, Ingram, Thomas, Ridley, and Kirk are all on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today. It is Thursday night football. We got the Saints. We got the Jaguars. We're breaking it all down for DraftKings right now. Well, not right now. First, do this. Sign up at Prize Picks using the link in the description of this video. That's where you want to be. You're going to get up to $100 on that first deposit. That makes it pretty easy. And then you're also going to get one month of Odd Shopper Premium. If you want to take a market-based approach to beating the books, shop those lines, look for player props, sides, totals, this is the tool for you. Come check it out. If you hate it, it costs you nothing. All right, first up at number five, we've got Chris Olave. He is 9K, projected for about 14 and a half fantasy points. Saints are actually the favorites here, which kind of surprises me. Maybe that's the Trevor Lawrence effect. He is a little dinged up. We don't know his status as of yet. I'm treating him like he's in, by the way. So assume that moving forward. Anyway, for Olave, two point favorites, 39 and a half point total. This has the possibility to be pretty ugly. 5% chance for Alave to go for more than 30 fantasy points. 10% chance, though, to be your optimal captain. I think that's kind of interesting. It doesn't take the craziest game on a day like today to get into that captain spot. Plus another 34% at the utility. He's 44% optimal. That looks pretty good to me. Derek Carr is in at number four. He is 8,800, $200 cheaper than Chris Olave. Not something you see all that frequently. Projected for 15 fantasy points, the favorite in this game. I don't love his role for this team, but 4% chance to go for more than 30, 7% chance to be your optimal captain, and another 41% at utility. I think he just fits a little bit easier. For quarterbacks, the floor is a little bit higher. The ceiling for Olave is bigger, but you feel a little bit more comfortable with Derek Carr. First guy to cross the coin flip barrier is going to be Travis Etienne, 10,200 projected for 16 and a half fantasy points. We're finally looking at the Jags now. Slight dogs here in New Orleans, but this does feel like an okay spot for Etienne, other than the 39 and a half point total for sure. 7% chance to go for more than 30, but 14% chance to be your optimal captain. I feel like ETN is a very interesting captain option because you just know he's going to be involved. If he gets in the end zone, he's almost guaranteed just because of this total. 37% at the flex as well. That gets him to 51%. The first guy to cross the coin flip barrier. Just edging out ETN is Alvin Kamara, 10,400, projected for 16 and a half fantasy points. Back to the Saints we go. 8% chance to go for more than 30, 15% chance to be your optimal at the captain. Are you seeing a little bit of a, a, a theme here? Whatever you need to do to go north of 30 is basically like double the odds and that's how often you're going to be the captain. That's what we seem to be seeing because of this low total. If this total were 50, it wouldn't look like that. Another 37% gets him into the utility spot. This gets Alvin Kamara all the way up to number two, but that does not get him to number one, although it could depending on the status of our number one guy. And that's going to be Trevor Lawrence. He's in at number one. So long as he can play, I think he's the best option for you today. 9,600, projected for 17 fantasy points. Uh, honestly, slight dog. You, you expect him to have to throw. His two best weapons are still there, plus Ingram. They're down their third wide receiver. 6% chance at north of 30. 9% chance to be your optimal captain. Again, the floor is pretty high for Lawrence so long as he's on the field. If he doesn't end up starting, this entire slate changes. You need a full new list because all of the value moves around. 45% chance to be optimal at the flex. That's the piece that I think stands out the most. Trevor Lawrence is basically a, basically a coin flip just to be optimal at the flex. And that doesn't even account for the days where he gets a rushing touchdown and throws all over the Saints. So as long as Trevor Lawrence is able to play today, he is your number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NFL DFS contenders on DraftKings for Thursday Night Football, Saints and Jags. Now, there's a FanDuel version of this video around here somewhere, so make sure you check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. I'll be back again with this video Monday morning for another edition of The Contenders.